firstly, Living, fantastic film. How was it um, getting the, getting such a great cast and um, getting everything together? Were you filming during lockdown or was that? Yeah, we were filming during the summer just after lockdown. And um, it's a film that we were hoping to shoot the summer before. But of course, during the COVID years, it's not, impos not possible to make. If you've seen the movie, you probably know it has a lot of extras. There's lots of locations. Um, it's not just two people in a room. And so we always wanted to make the film with Bill Nye. It was written for Bill Nye by Ishiguru. And this is my third film with Bill. So we're good friends and we had designed the film for him. And during those first few months of lockdown, it wasn't good for anyone um, to go out to be stood in a room and lots of people not wearing masks. So we had to pace it in terms of the production, in terms of when we could shoot it. And when we did shoot it, it was quite tough, you know. I mean, we still quite a lot of worry about um, the whole COVID thing. So in addition to that, everybody was shooting their films that summer. So there was a great demand for silly things like cameras and lights and all those daft things you use in movies. Um, so we had a real problem with trying to make a film at a certain level of budget. I mean, tonight's about celebrating lower budget films, you know. So nothing in this event tonight is about high budget special effects movies. So as such, you know, living isn't a high budget movie. So making small budget films during this particular time when all the Americans are here, all the streamers are here, everybody is making a lot of big tentpole movies in the UK. Studio space is impossible. You know, it's quite a tough time for lower budget films. It's a much better time if you have the money from a streamer or a studio. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great time because people are going back to the cinema. It's a great time because we are now in a time when uh, we can, like tonight, celebrate British cinema. But it's also quite a tough time because we are still we are still competing with the studios and with the streamers and with people who love working in the UK because we have such incredible crews and we have great support. And so it's, a, it's fantastic that we have an industry which is bursting at the seams. But at the same time, for some of these smaller films, not so much for myself and my partner Elizabeth, for some of these smaller films, we do need ongoing support. A lot of these filmmakers really do need supporting because it's, you know, we wouldn't have this wonderful, incredible industry that stretches from here to Los Angeles if we didn't have events like this. And we only have events like this because we have movies like, you know, like the films we're celebrating tonight and we have cinemas to show them. So let's protect this, our industry by supporting the BFI, supporting lottery, supporting all the events that go on and supporting exhibition, you know, it's very important. And what has been the most exciting thing for you this year in independent film? I mean, there's a really very strong lineup of films this year that have been made um, throughout the end of lockdown and coming out of that. Yeah. Uh, what's, what's been the most exciting thing for you to see coming out? Is it the, is it the films themselves or just the, the, the new people coming through? I think the new people coming through, really, and also we, every year we seem to have a film like St. Maud or we have a film that, um, that, that surprises us. And, you know, I thought After Sun was wonderful. I think some of the films tonight are terrific. And I, I think that what's important that we don't forget that um, these lower budget films are not just doing well here, but also abroad. And I think we've been very lucky with living because we've been in Telluride and Venice. Um, we've started off in Sundance. We've been to Toronto and San Sebastian. And you see so many of these small films in those competitions, featured in those festivals. And so I think we have to remember that because we share a common language with America, in, a, you know, in effect, we speak American. So our films travel well. You know, and they travel well and they can play well in France and Italy and Germany and Spain. So we have to remember that we have a big export item for the world and it's exporting our culture. 
So I think what's exciting, the most exciting thing for me this year is going to cinemas and seeing them full. That's so exciting. To go to see a movie, I think I went to see Menu two days ago in Leicester Square. And it was so wonderful to go in and not find a seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!